my friends welcome back to my channel I am so happy you're all here and today's video is another in my series of closet declutter making my wardrobe work for my current life and body and today we are tackling tops and I actually need to tell you that I already filmed this entire video and was planning on showing you all of the top decluttering and it just got to be too long so today we are breaking it apart and it is going to be just sleeveless and short sleeve tops that we declutter today. The long sleeves will be in another video. Now if you are new stopping by, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. And just a quick backstory on me to catch you up. I am a 55 year old empty nester and I do not work out of the home currently. I obviously have my YouTube channel and then I also do regular volunteering at a recent shop in my town and so as you can probably guess my life is very casual and my wardrobe is very casual but today going through my tops you're gonna see that there are some tops that I do want to keep that are just a slightly dressier that I don't wear every single day but they're kind of like my going out tops and those are the ones that are perfect for when I go out for drinks or dinner with my girlfriends or out with my husband those type of tops so we still need some of those along with all the casual pieces. Now the end goal of this whole video series is just to create a closet and a space that I can go into that everything works, everything fits, I need everything, I love everything. That is what the end goal is. All right, I am going to put up a picture or a little snippet of video footage of where we are starting in my closet, the section that we are starting at. And I am going to be trying something new today that I have never done before, but I'm sure you have probably heard this tip as well. After you have decluttered your closet, they recommend that when you are hanging up your garments, you hang them all the hangers going in the opposite direction. And then as you've worn something, you take the hanger and when you hang it back up, you put it in the regular direction that you hang clothes. And they say that's a very good visual when you are looking in your closet then you can clearly see the pieces that you have not pulled for and maybe that means that those are the ones that need to go as well so I'm gonna try that and see how that works for me as I go through and declutter these tops so let's go ahead and get started and declutter all of the tops in my closet first we have a royal blue sleeveless top this is supposed to be my power color when I had my colors done recently I have not not worn this yet this summer so I'm going to be hanging it the opposite direction I'm gonna hang on to it and see if I pull for it and maybe I had just forgotten that this was here but I'm gonna keep this this is just a pink and white and gray and it kind of like the ombre effect gets lighter um, shell or sleeveless top I have not worn this in a couple of years so this is going this is an Old Navy pink luxe tank but it's that really pale pink and I never pull for this. So this one I've decided is gonna go as well. This is a little gray. It's kind of like got a cowl neck. Um, it's a polyester blend. I have found that the gray is not a great color for me. I haven't worn this in a while, so this is going. Now this one, it's a similar in styling. It might also even be looking gray in the viewfinder, but this is actually an olive green, and I love this color. Obviously, I found out it is a good color for me as well. I have worn this under cardigans before, so I am gonna be hanging on to this one. Now these I've pulled, I have these Old Navy White Luxe, v-neck tanks i've got three of these and then i also have this one is from maurice's i think i've got one in the laundry from loft i am keeping all of these because i do wear these layered under cardigans and jackets i'm very curious to see though when i hang the, the hangers the opposite direction in my closet which which of these i'm pulling for but right now i'm going to keep all of these white tanks now here same thing i've got some black v-neck tanks and different by different brands this one's express this was an amazon one and this one is the old navy Lux. The only one of these I know for sure I'm getting rid of is this one from Amazon. For some reason, I have never, I never pull for this one. It's really quite long on me. It's a longer length one, and just tucking it in, it seems to 
This seems to be the reason I never pull for this one, so this one is going. But I am going to hold on to these two that even though black is not a great color for me, if I wear a color over this in a cardigan or jacket that is my color, I can go ahead and wear these with no problem, so I'm keeping both of those. This is a white, like, sleeveless top. I don't know if it's gonna blow out. It's kinda got these textured dots on it. Um, I got this at Kohl's. It was one of those Vera Wang ones. I used to wear this a, a lot, like underneath cardigans and such, but you know what? I haven't pulled for it in a while, so I'm deciding this one's going. Now this is a cream colored, this is a velvet tank top with this little like lace edge up near the neckline and it's the racerback style. I got this from a Wantable box that I'm trying it on because I wanted to see why I have never worn this. I've never worn this one. I think it might have been one of those deals where I needed a fifth piece to get the discount and I, and I took this, but I have never pulled for this. I've never worn it. And I think it's the velvet hangs me up because it is like, it's a cold weather camisole, but I've never really found the perfect layering piece over it. So I'm gonna say goodbye to this one. This is a cute little top I got at Express years ago. Um, I like the little details on it. I have worn this just on its own. And then I've also um, worn this sometimes under sweaters, but you know what? I Even though I liked it a lot at the time, I just haven't been wearing it, so this one's gonna go. Now these are two little blue and white stripe tanks, and this one's kind of got the off-the-shoulder look. I still wear these when I go on vacation. I actually wore both of these when I was in Florida visiting my mother-in-law in the winter time. So I like these with white jeans and I've also got some like peach shorts or coral colored shorts that I like these with. So I'm hanging on to both of them. Here we have a white cami from Target and also a black cami from Target. I'm keeping both of these because I think these are good for layering. This was another wantable, this green satin. Absolutely love this color. I have worn this a couple of times. I'm gonna try to to wear this a little bit more in the winter season, especially around the holidays, because I do love this color. So I'm gonna hang on to this one. It's this really pretty green satin. This is a pink camo one that I got from Maurice's, and I do not wear this for shorts, but now looking at this, this might be a good workout top, so I'm gonna hang on to it and put it in my workout clothes drawer, That and maybe I will wear it just for working out, but I'm not gonna wear it. I never wear this with shorts or pants, and I haven't worn it layered, so this one's gonna go for my regular wardrobe. This is a green halter I recently got from Stitch Fix, so I do like this. I'm gonna keep this one. This is a blue sleeveless top that I got from Express. I love the color, and this one I wear uh, as a layering piece, so I'm keeping this one. This tank top is one of those mixed media ones where it's like the cottony feeling, light blue in the back, and then it's a blue and black print. Um, I do like it, but for some reason, I just never seem to pull for this one, so I think it's time to say goodbye to this. This is a new coral top that I just got from Stitch Fix, so I'm hanging on to this. And this is a new Vince Camuto top that I got from a Wantable box that I love this color, so I'm obviously keeping this. This is a little denim um, sleeveless that I got from Walmart last year. I like this one. I've worn this this summer, so I'm hanging on to this. This is a little blue and white stripe from Vigos that I think I got in a wantable box that ties at the bottom. I have worn this this summer and I do really like this one still so I'm hanging on to that. So that is all the sleeveless tops that we've gone through which I feel happy about with the, the amount that I got rid of. So that's a good start. All right now this is a blue Calvin Klein I got at Macy's several years ago. Um, I guess I might consider this kind of like a going out top because it's just a little bit dressier than like a regular top that I'd wear around home. I, th I had truly forgotten about this and it might just have been that it was kind of smushed into my closet. I'm gonna hang on to this and I'm curious if this is something I'm gonna reach for. I am keeping it for now because I do really like it and I think I just forgot that I had it. This is a black t top that I just got from Maurice. I bought this right before I had my colors done Black is not my color, and this one comes up pretty high, so this Maurice's top is gonna be going. Here's this little pink clip dot one with little petal-like sleeves. 
I do like this and I'm gonna be keeping this. Now this top I just got from a gifted collaboration that I did with Mod Lily and I really like this top. I think it's so cute. But what, for whatever reason, every time I put this on to wear, I end up taking it off. For just, whatever reason, I just don't feel good in this top. So this is gonna be one I'll donate. So this top is a little coral and a coral and white floral pattern. I got it loft a few years ago and it's got the little tie at the neckline. I still really like this top so I'm hanging on to this. This is a CC top from Nordstrom and I do love the color and this would be one of my going out tops as well. I'm keeping this. Now this top is just a, like an off-white from Kohl's and I'm trying it on because I, for some reason, this is one I always take off as well the minute I put it on. I think it has to do with the way that these sleeves fit my arms. I'm very self-conscious when I wear some sleeves, the way they make my arms look. Um, and this one is, I think it's my arms that I don't like in this top. So I've decided that this one is gonna go. This is just a blue bla button down blouse, but I really do like this. I can make a black blazer work if I have this because this is one of my colors underneath. And I have worn this under cardigans as well, so I'm hanging on to this. This was something I ordered from Timu back in the spring, and I think it's a really cute top. And surprisingly, some of the quality of clothing from Timu is actually very good. Um, there's nothing really wrong with this top, although it is kind of plunging here in the, the chest area, and I just, I think that that bothers me enough that I'm not wearing it. I haven't worn it in the spring since I purchased it, so I think this one's going. This one is like a little sage green um, with flutter sleeves. It's also got the, the tie at the neckline. Love this color, and I've still worn this, so this is gonna be a keeper. Now this is one uh, from Walmart, I believe. Yeah, free assembly that I got, I think last year in a haul. And it's this pretty turquoise color. I think the camera's blowing it out. Um, for some reason, I have not worn this at all this summer, and I think this is another one of that it was jammed in my closet and I couldn't see it, so I'm keeping it, and hopefully this will be one that I get more wear out of now. Here is another Timu top that I did, I'm showing you some video footage because, because whenever I go to wear this, the, the fit around the bust line and with my like underarm area, it's just a, the slightest bit confining. So when I've gone to put this on before, I end up taking it off. So I think that is just enough that it's not it's not right for me, so I am gonna be donating this one. This is also a Timu top, but I actually really enjoy this one. I, I think the sleeves are so cute on this and I love that detail and I like the, the bright red color, so this is actually one that I'm gonna be hanging on to. This is just a white or you know slightly off-white top with, the, it's got like the cowl neckline and the like dolman short sleeves. I got it from a Wannable box. Love this top, this is definitely a keeper. This is a little yellow floral that I got from Stitch Fix, and even though it's kind of almost cap sleeve. I still don't mind this because I feel like it fits more like a tank on me. And I do like this yellow on me, so this is one that I'm gonna be keeping as well. Now this I ordered from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale last year. It's another CC top and it's got that real those cute clip dots on the sleeves. Um, love this color, so this is one I'm keeping too. This is a little navy and white striped tee, and it's got some cute, de it, the, and the cute detail of this has got these like gathered sleeves. I like this one, this is a keeper. This is another free assembly in an ivory color that I think I have just gotten lost in my closet. It's just a button down, it's kind of a boxy crop style, but I do like it. I think it looks cute with high-waisted pants and jeans, so I think I'm gonna hang on to this and hopefully it's something I pull for now that I remember that I have it. We have a long sleeve that's snuck in here. Um, this is this really pretty blue, um, I love the you know the ruffles here at the neckline, and I think the sleeves are really pretty. So this is a definitely one of my like going out blouses, but I like this one. I'll be keeping it. This I got from a Stitch Fix this year. It is this navy print. Um, this one is casual enough. I I have worn this a lot, so I'm definitely keeping this. Here we have another free assembly in the black, but because it's black. 
Um, and I have not worn this in a while. This is gonna be a donate. This is another one of the little going out tops, and this is from Boobladon. And I think this is a cute top. Um, I'll be curious if I pull for this though. For some reason, this is one that I, when I put on to wear, um, I took it off. And I'm not sure why, because it is a cute, it's a polyester top. It's cute. I think the, the ruffles and everything are cute. I'm gonna hang on to it and see how much I wear this one. This is a black one I got from Kohl's years ago that ties here at the waist. The black comes up pretty high on me, and now that I know black's not flattering, this one is definitely going. Now this is a cold shoulder black top, and I feel like the cold shoulders are out, so this one's gonna be going. Here's another black top, and you can see it's pretty high of a neckline. It's a cute top with these flutter sleeves, but it's going. This is a white one from Timu. Um, I don't know, I'm thinking, I'm keeping it for now, but it's gonna be one that I'll see if I tend to grab or not. I do like it, but I'm, there's something about it that I haven't worn it, you know, since I've gotten it, so I don't know, we'll see about this one, we're keeping it for now. Now here, this is a black V-neck um, from Old Navy, yeah. but I don't know what I would layer this under as far as sweaters. So maybe because it's a black and I'm not gonna wear this just on its own now, I think this is gonna be a donate. This is a little like kimono topper and I got this actually with um, my girlfriends from high school a couple of years ago. We got together um, for a little reunion and I think we all bought maybe it wasn't this one we all bought like a cardigan the same um, but i bought that with them and i think this is really cute but because of the, the black issue i'm going to be donating this okay that actually felt really good of the amount of clothes that i am going to be donating i am really excited about this closet declutter that i am doing and i am so happy that you are joining me with it so thank you so much for being here and taking time out of your busy days to watch my videos. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all next time. Bye.